I have taken both of these beauties out and we are going to take a closer look at them and see if they meet your expectations. Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. My name is Vivian. If this is the first video you're watching, every piece of jewelry is special to me. So today I'm going to be presenting two very special pieces from the Van Cleef and Arpel Sweet Alhambra collection. You will see exactly why I called them the love set when you see the unboxing. So these two pieces are a Van Cleef and Arpel Sweet Alhambra necklace with the red carnelian heart pendant as well as Sweet Alhambra bracelet in the red heart carnelian as well and I just find them very unique and charming in its own way and also red carnelian is probably one of my favorite stones because I love the color and how vibrant it is I do find that whenever I add this piece or if I pair it with any other jewelry that I'm wearing of the day it does tend to elevate and make things look dressier and I just love the pop of color as well the Sweet Alhambra collection is apparently only launched in the early 2000s around 2007 so if you are familiar with the Alhambra collection there are three main collections the vintage collection which is the medium size I would call it and then there is the magic Alhambra which is the enlarged motifs and lastly we have the sweet Alhambra which is the mini size each collection has its own charm and everybody likes different collection but I do know that the vintage collection is one of their most classic and more desirable collection out of the other collections that's a lot of collections that I just said these two pieces are very special and as you can see it's in the shape of a red heart so a lot of times people associate it with love hence why thumbnail I called it the love set both pieces are in a rose gold setting so if you have any rose gold jewelry or if you have like Cartier rose gold or yellow gold I do find that pairing with this set pretty well because the colors are very cohesive right next to each other it doesn't pop out of nowhere but from friends I have seen them receiving these dainty pieces as a Valentine's Day gift and I do think it's very brilliant of course, if you send a guy shopping, they're probably gonna look for something that represents the love, you know, in a symbol. So this little charm is actually really cute. It's in a heart shape. Believe it or not, the heart, even though it appears to be in a heart shape, but in the Van Cleef world, it is actually a piece of clover. I'm going to show you guys the picture. From there, you can probably see why they use this little heart as its charm as you know one piece of clover leaf it's just really brilliant and very creative in that way enough talking about the collection i know if you guys love watching videos on the channel a lot of you said you appreciate the detail shots let's dive into the detail review part where we zoom in on all of the details that includes clasp chains hallmarks everything you need to know so today there are two pieces and let's take a look at how they look look in detail and as well as what they look like on. I really hope you enjoy the rest of the video.
Alrighty, so I have taken both of these beauties out and we are going to take a closer look at them and see if they meet your expectations. And in this shot, you can clearly see that the two carnelian stones are different in colors, especially when the lights shine through them. You can see that there is a bit of a color difference. One is darker while the other one is lighter. First things first, let's start from the chain, the clasp, and everything that you need to touch when you wear these bracelets. And the clasps are the same color, they are the same size. The two elongated plaques that you're looking at basically serves as the ID for each of the piece. And just to remind you, I have not modified any of the length on these sets. So later on when you see me trying it on, that is the actual size of these two pieces. In this shot, you can clearly see the color difference between the two carnelian stones. The top one appears a little bit more orangey, and the bottom one appears a little bit more darker red. And here's another view of them. This is the top one, and this is the bottom one. You can clearly see that each stone has its unique color, so they're never the same and never really consistent. Here are more details. These are the beaded frames. The finishing of these pearls are really, really neat. This view, you can see the heart is a little charm, so it will glide on the chain. Last time when I briefly talked about this piece, I counted the pearl beads on each side. There are 14 on each side, and so is this one. And for the bracelet, it is a fixed charm, so it won't glide when you wear it. And if you guys have watched other videos on the channel, you know how I feel about these chains. I love the Van Cleef chains because they're robust and also shiny. One side of the plaque shows the gold hallmark with the branding, while the other one shows you the serial number. And this is the standard thing for all of their pieces. Like I mentioned before, these clasps are really, really nice as this is the only brand that I found has put their branding on clasp closures. And I just want to point it out here really quickly, the hoop connecting the clasp and the chain actually has a little opening. I remember some of you asked me this before. Another interesting thing is that there's this graving SA35 and also a different one S854 on these clasps. The clasps are absolutely the same size, but they just have different engravings. So I'm guessing this might be a little indicator for their inside workers or it might be a different batch number. And the thickness of both of these pieces are exactly the same as well. And so are the chains, they look identical. So if you buy anything from this series or this collection, they look exactly the same. I did a video on comparing three different bracelets from different designers. So if you wanna watch that video, I'll make sure I link it there, but this is the Van Cleef one. And this is a detail of both clasp and the chain together. They kind of add up to each other if I place them this way. And if you like details, this is something that a lot of people have missed because it's a very, very tiny detail. It's an eagle engraving on the end of the hoops. So if you have watched other videos on the channel, I have mentioned before what this eagle means. And let me know if you know what it means. All right, let's get back to the most statement and most important detail on this necklace, which are these hearts and their clover leaves, as I mentioned previously. Both of these heart-shaped stones are hand polished and set into this cast right here. They are actually not completely flashed inside the setting because they are hand polished. So if you do pay attention, a lot of times you can see this little gap right here, especially on the one in the back. And you will always be able to find something like this on Van Cleef pieces. And whenever I do a review, I make sure I include details like that in here. Here's a little bonus for those who wanted to know for a quick size comparison between the Sweet Alhambra and the Vintage Alhambra, and you can see it's significantly smaller. And next, let me try them on for you. You can see how little and tiny this little clover leaf slash heart looks like on my body frame. I have a wider and thicker neck. It's a 16 inch chain and it sits kind of perfectly on my neck. And the bracelet chain actually fits a little bit bigger. Obviously, you have the option to adjust them. I believe Van Cleef offers complimentary service for add or removing chain within two inches. Regarding prices, 
The bracelet has lesser price point, which is priced at $14,400 US dollars. And just so you know, this is after the price increase. So the current price is $1,440. And for the necklace is $1,580, which is priced the same as the Sweet Alhambra Clover pendant. So those two you can pick and choose which one is your favorite. So what do you guys think? Do you think if you were to receive this set as a Valentine's Day gift or someone that loves you who sent you this, would you appreciate that you receive these as a gift set or you would want to go for the little charm? Uh, would you want to go for the clover charm? Personally, I mean, if you, you guys haven't asked me, but I like to answer this question. I'm more of a fan of the clover charm because it's something that really is a unique shape at the same time makes a statement. But the heart looks really cute as well. So make your choices. Let me know in the comment section below. And as usual, if you have any other questions, ask away and I look forward to seeing you in, in the next video. Talk to you guys later. Bye guys.